Hey guys, we have been given two recursive formulas that apply to a sequence. And we want to find the explicit formula for the same sequence in each of these cases. Now, as we're working on this, I'm assuming you are pretty familiar with recursive and explicit formulas. If that's not the case, that's okay. I'm just going to refer you to a video in the corner that you'll probably want to watch first to help this make a little more sense. But let's go ahead and get started. So if you've been working with these, you are probably familiar. This A sub 1 tells me that the first number in this sequence is 4. And then this formula is going to be what helps me find the rest of the numbers. So this is telling me whatever number you want to find, you take the one before it and multiply by 3. So if I want to find the second term, I take the first term and multiply it by 3. So 4 times 3 would give me 12. Then if I want to find the third term, take the one before it, 12, multiply by 3, and I get 36. Multiply by 3 again, I get 108. I could keep going, but I'm feeling pretty good about these four numbers. All right, so what did I do each time? I multiplied by 3, right? That's what this recursive formula told me to do. So in order to find my explicit formula, we are going to plug into this formula. But we're going to talk about it as we go, right? So we're not just memorizing. So we are going to plug into this to find our geometric explicit formula. So whatever number we want to find, a sub n, you take the first term, which is 4, multiply by the common ratio r, that's just what we're doing each time, we're multiplying by 3, to the power of n minus 1. Woohoo! That's my formula, guys. Now, if you're like, oh, I don't remember why this is the formula. <laughs> remember, if I was trying to find the next number in this sequence, the fifth number, I would multiply by 3 how many times? I would multiply by 3 again. So to get the fifth term, I would have multiplied by 3 four times. So that's why it's n minus 1. If I want to find the fifth term, I would multiply by 3 four four times, which is five minus one. All right. Isn't that cool? Okay. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. In this one, a sub one is 400. So that's telling me that the first number in my sequence is 400. And then this formula tells me what to do. Whatever number I want to find, take the one before it, multiply it by one half, or you can also think of this as dividing by 2. It really means the same thing. So if I multiply 400 by 1 half or divide it by 2, I get 200. Multiply by 1 half again, I get 100. Multiply by 1 half again, I get 50. Of course, I could keep going if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and plug into our explicit formula. So whatever number we want to find, a sub n, Take a sub 1, the first term, 400. Multiply it by our common ratio, which is 1 half, to the power of n minus 1. There is my formula. All right, I hope this made sense. If you need some more examples, I've got a whole playlist that I will link for you. Thanks.